Hey, just like everybody else, I hate being stuck at home, but in the solitude that is my bedroom, my office, my CNET video studio, I discovered thousands of little videos on my phone of my friends, family, and even pets. So these little videos come from live photos. When you take one, it records one and a half seconds before and one and a half seconds after, and it keeps this little three second memory on your phone. Now, no, this has been around a while, and it, there's even a version on Android called Motion Photos. But this isn't about Android versus iOS or Apple versus Samsung, no. This is just about how a feature can actually kind of make you feel something. Yeah, I know, I know. Anytime we hear tech companies equate their product into changing the world or uh, it's gonna revolutionize this or make you feel this way. You know what, most of the time that's just a lot of bull But this time, well, it worked. It worked really well. But let me back up a bit. Uh, I live with two roommates who are wonderful, smart, intelligent, charismatic, kind to animals, the nicest roommates you could hope for. But as Tennessee Williams illustrated so well in his play, A Streetcar Named Desire, putting a lot of people in a small space for a long time, something's gonna boil over. I don't want no ifs, ands, or buts. Now what's the rest of them? Now let me be clear about this a little bit here. So um, that reference is actually gonna make a little more sense later on in the story. And to be honest, the only thing that's boiled over in my household so far is a little bit of pasta water. Because of all the anxiety that's engulfing our world right now, I've been spending far more time in my room. It's my escape, it's my office, it's my video studio. And it reminds me of a, a meme I saw about someone working from home and it's a woman in pajamas and she's getting ready for bed and she's like, well, time to get out of my daytime pajamas and into my nighttime pajamas. And that's kind of what it is like being in this room. Sometimes I need to change it into the bedroom role where I don't have tech on, I don't have my work computer on. Other times it's gotta be an office. Other times I've gotta be ready to record a video with lights and sound and try to get everyone quiet. And so far it's worked pretty well. But one day last week, I was really frustrated with working from home and I closed my computer and just grabbed my phone and I just wanted to see pictures of my family and friends who I hadn't seen in a while. And I'm, I noticed that there's a collection called Live Photos. And I had over 1,300 of these live photos. I've never really given live photos a thought before. You know, they were just there. Um, so I decided just to scroll through and I found this picture of my cat named Stella named after the character in Streetcar Named Desire. I was working on a production in Chicago years ago when I got her. And it was a picture of Stella on my roommate's heating pad, just kind of napping. And when I pushed and held on the photo, she just came back to life. And this made me lose it. You see, my cat, Stella, she uh, passed away last summer and it was really sad. And the fact that I could just push and hold on this photo and to see her spring back to life and even let out a little tiny meow. I don't know, I, I just didn't know that kind of power existed in something like live photo. So I started scrolling through more photos, looking for that little live photo circle icon on the top. And I found ones of Stella playing and looking at birds. And then I was going through ones of friends and family. I found ones of when I interviewed the Jizza and Master Killer from Wu-Tang Clan and we're awkwardly standing, getting ready to take a photo together. I found one where I took a picture with the Affleck duck at CES. Yeah, so live photos. Wow. Okay, the only live photos I didn't look at was I, I found a couple pictures of an ex-girlfriend and hey man, I am not a monster for pain and suffering, so did not touch those. Now, I realize I could just watch videos that I have of my cat Stella or the interview video I did with Wu-Tang Clan. It's a great video. I realize I could watch those things, but it's not the same. In fact, what Live Photo does is just capture these really mundane, these really small and like natural, genuine moments that you don't even realize are happening as you take a photo. And I think that's the underlying power of Live Photos. Now, when whoever at Apple named this product Live Photos, I don't think he or she had any idea that I'd be sitting here looking at photos of basically my cat coming back to life for three seconds. Yeah, yeah, I went there. Now I'm sharing this story with you because it just brought me a wonderful amount of distraction. And I imagine maybe on your Android phone or your iPhone that you have these motion photos, you have these live photos, and they're just waiting there with all these moments for you to discover. I guess in this time when there's just so much uncertainty and 
we're being so isolated from the ones we love. Just having that little bit of aliveness feels really good. And to end with a line from Streetcar Named Desire, when Eunice tells Stella at the end, we've got to keep on going, honey, no matter what happens. We all got to keep on going.